The Awaken exhibition is about bringing a whole new group of community, new academics, museum staff together and the Thompson family to create an exhibition honouring the work of Donald Thompson and honouring all the communities that he's worked with in the past. The idea behind Awaken is that we're awakening these objects which have been dormant inside museum spaces. The exhibition is very much about reconnecting objects with community and it's about expressing and displaying living cultures as well. The way we've displayed the objects is beautiful showcases in the three regions and we've also created a digital label for each of those objects. We're coming to a time where we can really delve into digital technologies and make the objects and museum collections accessible from community regions. We've asked a young community member to choose an object from the collections and to reflect on that and they've made a, a small film of them talking about that. So from Central Australia we have uh, Jesse Bartlett's talking about one of the old string sandals that have been made. You know, people don't think we ever had sandals back then, but it, it makes sense what <laughs> we did, you know, with the sharp rocks, the, you know, hot ground, you know, and our country's, you know, sand hill country. Um, when it gets hot, it gets really, really hot. In Cape York we have Ruby Colour Colour who's talking about um, her response to seeing in the collection there's a canoe axe which was made by her grandfather Jimmy Colour Colour. So important because my siblings can come and see these and they can get a sense of who they are or like where their family come from and how they live once upon a time. And from Arnhem Land we have Ishmael who's talking about um, some original film footage from that Donald Thompson took and the community have now shown that to elders and they've sat down and made a little film about them watching that film so it's their response to seeing that. So we found this location, Mondokul and his family was travelling. We saw the photos and videos from 1935 and matched it up. These objects are actually, you know, a big part of our community. Um, they're living entities and they hold a lot of history and knowledge and they really tell stories about who we are as a people and our tradition and culture. It's great hands-on experience. I mean, as a conservator, and I, I just graduated about a year ago, you don't really get this sort of opportunity to kind of work from the ground up. Learning hands-on skills, learning how the process of installing an exhibition works, handling the objects, and seeing the, the different roles that all come together to make you know, this exhibition. I studied here, I did the Master of Art Curatorship program. It's been a really interesting learning process because I've had to build relationships within the university but also in Museums Victoria. I hope that when people come and view it that they are moved by the beauty of the objects, the extraordinary knowledge that's embedded in them and a great um, pride in you know, Aboriginal communities who have contributed to this collection.